what broke yeah. off. But usually they break off at the it top. It just kind of fell apart. It just turned into oh black mush. God. It doesn't hurt at all, though. It never has. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it doesn't seem um, infected in any way. It's just, there's another nail growing underneath it. I just mm. smashed it, and it just broke off. That's awful. I always thought that if you broke, if you got a black nail, that the whole nail would fall off. It, Not it has, but I didn't. Chris, you have it. Oh. Just read it. Hello. Stay tuned for more <laughs> Nirvana on ABC in concert. Hello. I am Chris. And I am Kurt. And I am Dave. And we are Nirvana. Ooh, you see too much of us anyway on TV, so you, you can change another channel. And you're watching us on ABC in concert. Hello, I am Chris. Hello, I am Kurt. And I'm Dave. And we are Nirvana, the band you see on TV too much. Change the channel. Not just Turn it on it. PBS or something. And you're watching ABC in concert. What do you think it is about Nirvana that people have responded to so obviously? Our rugged good looks, our charisma and charm, uh, our stature as uh, human beings, our musicmanship, um, which is lousy. Mm. Pay, record company Paola. Yeah. What, as children, or like as a, as, as a kid, what inspired you to get involved in music? What drew you to it? What made you want to do it? I was inspired by the monkeys. I don't know who I was inspired by. I think I was first inspired to play music by, uh... Speak and spell. No, punk rock bands, I guess. Any favorites? Favorite punk rock bands? Of yeah. ever? Plasmatics. Ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Wendy O. Williams. Generation X. Uh, Generation X. The Cars. Cars, yeah. I like all that punk rock. Billy Idol, The Cars. Just ain't got no beat, man. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Duran. <laughs> Just ain't got no beat. Well, I think the only thing that I was inspired by was the um, Chipmunk Sing the Beatles album. It's better than the Beatles. Better than the real McCoy. <laughs> and you know, actually explain the image because we're going to take for granted people have seen it. Um, so, somebody talk about the image. And there's a, there's a baby underwater and it's swimming towards a dollar bill on a fish hook. And the dollar bill has definite materialistic connotations, and the rest of it's open for interpretation. Man. Why did you always pick the name Nirvana? Sounds nice. It had a ring to it. We had, the, we had the image and we had the name. All we needed were the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no we comment. did. Uh, Fifty thousand dollar problem. <laughs> Jerk off, soaked us for fifty grand. Typical valley man. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Tell you, I, I don't know. You just wait till we get hold of that shampoo company too. <laughs> <laughs> or the condom company. Or the Teen Spirit Yoda. Or, or the, the Dalai Lama. Yeah, I know. And, and the whole <laughs> Buddhist religion. We're gonna sue the pants off. <laughs> sue everybody. <laughs> yeah, we'll sue, sue everybody. So what do you say, or what do you think of people, what is your response to people who say that you guys have kind of sold out by moving off of Sub Pop and going to a big label? I'm Everybody's moving off of Sub Pop. What a <laughs> Bruce and John were trying to like move it's off a of crime. Sub Pop. I think Bruce Pappas is moving off of Sub Pop. <clears throat> so, I mean, does that bother you when people say that? Like, oh, you want Luke Geffen, it's the obvious label. Well, that's too bad. That's their problem. That's right. People so have all kinds of hang-ups. Like, I know this guy. What was so obvious about Gap? Well, I, I don't know. I'm only like reading like, oh. like, like what I've read, you know, people like kind of oh. spouting and being irritated. Well, those are like Mr. Negatives. It's just like, isn't it a sunny day? Well, it's probably going to rain. Or my cat will get run over or something. There always has to be pessimistic and negative. We're positive. And no matter what the situation is, we always give it a bright outlook. Butterflies and fields and rainbows smelling and unicorns and unicorns on rainbows, because that's what life's all about. When you sniff glue. Who was somebody that you were 
leave Mara? Let's leave Mara now. Okay, go ahead. Zippy the pinhead. <laughs> Zippy the pinhead. Yeah. He's cool. I admire evil can evil. I don't really admire anybody that much. Except for my immediate family. I guess. That's, That's neat, dude. Oh my <laughs> Jesus, this is ABC. That's right. <laughs> This is probably on after Ted Koppel. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Just don't bring up the word dysfunctional and we'll be okay. Right. Or discotech. Discotech. Discotechs and the sex alleds. <laughs> what did they do? Didn't they do the theme to Deep Throat or something? Oh, something like that. Are you guys surprised to have been so successful in the completely corporate garbage rock flooded music industry? No way. We knew. <laughs> yeah, from moment one. The magic eight we ball knew. told us. That's right, we shook it up, we said, we're gonna make it, and we looked at it. <laughs> Better tell you later. Then we shook it again. <laughs> Try again later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we busted it and drank all that blue stuff inside of it. <laughs> Got really wasted. It, it said, said, drink me. It said, drink <laughs> <laughs> So we took the little cube one. It's Vix 44 And then we shit it out. <laughs> and then look at it. Oh. And when we shit it out, it said, try again later. 